on the coast tomorrow. I want to check out the waves at Reefton. Sorry, I'm hanging out with Zave. <sighs> if you want to say something, say it. Well, I just can't take it seriously when you say he's your best mate. Because? Well, for starters, you didn't tell him the truth about Dad. We're both lying about that, and you know why. So what are you talking about? No, I mean about how you let him hit you to save Mum. Why are you so ashamed of that? Yeah, well, it's not something I want to brag about, and it's behind me, so that's where it can stay. OK, my boyfriend just left me, so maybe I'm not the best person to be speaking to about this, but are you insane? It's not insane to want my own space. No, but after everything you've been through in the past couple of months, the thing that scares you the most is moving in with someone who loves you to death. OK, when you put it like that, it does sound a bit crazy. Hey. Hey. Hi, Romeo. Nice to see you. Uh, I want to apologise on behalf of my sister. Really? What for? Oh, you don't have to be polite. She told us how rude she was to you the other day, and I'm really sorry for that. Romeo, I work with teenagers every day. Honestly, it's like water off a principal's back. <laughs> but thank you for the apology. Why don't you guys go and have some fun? I'll see you later. Hey. See ya. See ya. I keep moving the cash around and then putting it back to where it was. <laughs> I'm freaking out that Mum's going to go snooping and find it. I didn't think she was like that. She's not normally, but since Hugo died, she's gone into this super protective zone, so I wouldn't put it past her. You just need to hide it better. <laughs> no, you don't get my mum. If it's hidden, she's more likely to find it. If I put it somewhere obvious, she won't give it a second look. Right. Well, one thing's for sure, you need to keep it away from my sister. Don't even talk about it around her. You go and I'll see you in a minute. Rubbish. Dave didn't even bother going in. I doubt that's anything to do with the waves. Who's the chick? It's his ex. Well, she doesn't look very exy to me. They seem pretty cozy. Stop it. We're not doing anything. You've got that look in your eye. You can't be jealous of her. You and Dave have done nothing but fight since the moment you met. Well, what can I say? The kid's growing on me. Mink. Romeo. Oh, don't give me that. It's fun to be had. Yeah, but what's fun to you isn't fun to anyone else. That girl, her boyfriend just dumped her and left town. Oh. So if they look cosy, it's probably because Xavier's being supportive about that. And he's already making moves. How sweet. He's being a good friend. And they really don't need you. Providing some friendly competition. Why do you only ever want what you can't have? Gee, I don't know. I'm a real mystery to myself. Hi, Ruby. Let's go. I haven't even been in yet. It's a lake. I'll buy you juice at the club instead. Come on. Catch you later, Zay. I saw the looks on their faces, and it is you. You can't blame me if they can't take a joke. Two OJs, thanks. Except it's not a joke when you're like this hand grenade that goes off in everyone's life all the time. Hey, meet my sister. Boom. All of a sudden, everyone around you is bleeding to death. Yeah, well, maybe I do it because I'm sick of acting like things are so important when they're not. Everyone acts so nice and polite and blah, blah. Sometimes I just want to say what I'm really thinking. You know what? A lot of people are actually nice and polite. That's not an act. I think it's just about you trying to hurt people before they get a chance to hurt you. Yeah? Well, I wonder why. I know she's your sister, dude, but she's got to have something missing in her brain to act like that. I couldn't agree more, even though the piece you're talking about is the bit to do with being able to live in society. I finally had this breakthrough with Ruby and it, it felt really good. And then Mink showed up. I didn't even know what she was going on about. I mean... Does she secretly like me? Is this some kind of weird mating ritual? That I know of. Then why would she tell Ruby about all that stuff? I don't get it. If I did, my life would be so much easier. Has she always been like this? I mean, even before? She's always been trouble. She seemed to get off on causing as much of it as humanly possible. 
She doesn't leave her happy when she's confronting something or someone. She loves it. Well, I guess she's happy a lot of the time then. Yeah, except she's not really. She always used to be like this. She used to be fun trouble, you know? These days she's angry so much. One day things will get out of control and who knows what will happen. Hey, Mum. Hi, guys. Oh. You sticking around for dinner, Romeo? Uh, thanks, but I better get home. Make sure Mink hasn't set anyone on fire. <coughs> See ya. Believe me, mate, I know about feisty sisters. I've got a couple myself. It's not easy sometimes. It's not me I'm worried about. It's her. I just... I wish I could help her somehow. Well, people have got to ask for help, haven't they? I mean, uh, you can't just force it on them. Otherwise, they're, they're like brick walls with feet. Force doesn't work on Mink anyway. In fact, as far as I know, nothing does. The worst part is, she's totally unpredictable. You never know what she's going to do next. Thank you.